Hey Jerks and welcome to day 10 of the Beer Jerk Advent Calendar. I'm Matt. And I'm Luke. And today we are drinking a beer from our mates at 8 Wide Brewing up in Walkwood. Kingsnake. Yeah, so this is uh, going to be uh, a relief for some of you who are um, over our lagers and weird beers and <laughs> fruit and all sorts of nonsense. This is a classic West Coast IPA from a classic New Zealand brewery. 8 Wide are one of the OGs of the New Zealand brewing scene. Um, they have uh, pioneered a lot of uh, styles. They've got the largest barrel program in the Southern Hemisphere. They, they invented the New Zealand IPA with their uh, hop wired. And they continue to do cool stuff and innovate, as well as brewing classic styles like this. Cheers, Matt. Cheers. Uh, yeah, so for all of you hop heads, uh, which is probably pretty much every one of you, uh, I reckon you're probably going to enjoy this beer. We've had a few uh, interesting divisive beers that some of you loved. Some of you uh, weren't as into, but uh, I think this is going to be a, just a cry pleaser. Who's not going to like a good West Coast IPA? No one. No one with any sense. <laughs> um, now, the interesting thing about this is uh, this is one of the, um, to me, one of the new wave of West Coast IPAs that we've really seen proliferating in the last couple of years, where yeah. the malt base is a little more stripped back yeah. um, than you saw in um, uh, the traditional West Coast IPAs of yore, which had a lot of kind of crystal malt sweetness to them. Um, and um, the bitterness isn't quite as uh, basher over the head aggressive um, as it has been in previous years, but it's still got um, that really nice kind of structural bitterness to it. Yeah, it's um, yeah, really really light in body, really dry finish. Um, yeah, it's been nice to see the, um, I suppose, uh, almost a backlash of uh, bitter West Coast IPAs against all the hazy New England IPAs that have been prevalent for the last few years. And it's really just this year that they've sort of risen up again and uh, things are trying to find a, um, I suppose, a level uh, in, in the IPA, um, not wars, but just uh, what, uh, what people like drinking. So I think a lot of people are really enjoying uh, getting beers like this, which were, they were hard to come by for a while. There were not many bitter, hop forward West Coast IPAs around. So it's cool to see. And of course, uh, Soren, who's the, um, the owner and head brewer at 8 Wide, uh, has good form for this sort of thing. Matt mentioned before Hop Wired. Uh, which came on the scene probably 11, 12 years ago. I think it was yeah. 2010. Yeah, um, so Soren's story, uh, if you're a Beer of the Week subscriber, you may have heard a bit about this uh, in our Beer of the Week chat this week. Uh, so um, he was um, uh, a biochemist, I believe, uh, and just got into home brewing when his, uh, his wife-to-be bought him a homebrew kit. And after making some really fantastic beers at home, it's, it's often the way, uh, his friends told him he should get into brewing. So uh, he got a job as a brewer and he worked at Renaissance for a while and then started um, hustling and brewing on the sides and he created his own brand, 8 Wired and Contract Brewed. Uh, and before too long, uh, they'd relocated and moved to um, Walkworth, the yeah. breweries. I always got Walkworth and Matakana confused because they, they've got a brilliant venue in Matakana, which is the barrel works and the tap rooms. So it's a really good pub you can go and visit. Uh, so the, yeah, they set up in Walkworth and just have a really fantastic facility there. Really brilliant team. Um, Whenever we talk about Eight Wide, we're always uh, enthusing what about what a great bunch of people they are. We're big fans of the whole team there, yeah. Um, and yeah, good form for making good IPAs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and one, one fun thing about Eight Wide is that um, it was actually uh, started because Soren is a very good poker player, and uh, it was the seed capital that he got to um, take it from a contract brewery to set up his own facility up in Walkworth came from um, a big poker win. Um, where uh, it was a proper poker competition that um, he took out first place for, uh, uh, won a lot of money and uh, used that to start his brewery. So um, sort of a, f uh, a fun different yeah. uh, or origin story there for how he came up with that. As always with these beer jet videos, uh, this is not financial advice. Do not take any inspiration from uh, the things we're telling you to do with your life or finances. Uh, but pretty cool way to start a brewery. Yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah, and like Luke said, we love the team. We love what they've been doing over there. And yeah, King Snake is just, yeah, it's a really nice, solid IPA. Yeah, yeah, I really like the, just the dry finish of it, just keeps you coming back for more. I should know what hops are in here. Yeah, you check what the hops are. Yeah, so Centennial, Simcoe and Columbus. Classic. So it is those, those really classic um, mm. hops. Um, a lot of those hops are grown in the uh, Yakima Valley region of uh, Northwestern uh, United States, Pacific Northwest. Mm. Um, so it's kind of uh, on the border between Seattle and Washington. Yep. Um, and yeah, it's a really cool um, hop growing region that a lot of the iconic hops that um, you'll be familiar with are from. Uh, those, uh, well, Centennial, Simcoe and Columbus are kind of from that first wave. And then you've got stuff like Citra and Mosaic, which are the kind of 
um, the late, later wave of big hero hops for all originating in that um, same American Pacific Northwest region. Yeah. And yeah, you, you do get those um, those nice classic notes. It's kind of got that resinous kind of note to it. Mm. Um, there's some pine coming through. A little bit of restrained citrus, but not over the top. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's more that um, yeah that, that real traditional West Coast West Coast hop profile. Um, but yeah, with, as we said, some of that sweetness pulled out where um, I think a lot of brewers, particularly in the States, are calling the style the California IPA now, mm. um, where um, it doesn't have that, uh, that, that sweetness to it, um, like some of the old West Coast IPAs do. Uh, and with Eight Wide, uh, I personally am a really big fan of all their traditional beers that they brew. They're really inspired by a lot of European beers, which we've met before, you know, that's, that's what I'm into as well. Uh, their Pilsners are fantastic. Uh, their big stouts are fantastic. That yeah. ice stout is just so iconic. And that was, the ice stout was actually one of the first beers that um, Sorry ever brewed commercially as Eight Wide. Uh, and it was a pretty awesome lineup, the first beers that they put out. Uh, it was the Big Smoke as well, which was just a ridiculous Baltic Porter with loads of smoke in there. It just really made waves just, just from the outset. Um, but it's really their, their wild ferment stuff. They release um, uh, a wild ferment barrage for Joa beer each year. which. Classic. Yeah, which is just every year, it's an absolute highlight of the uh, beer drinkers year, the Wild Fajoa. And um, yeah, just barrel aged stuff, Imperial Stout. So, so that's what I really love about Eight Wide, but it's nice then uh, when sometimes they, uh, they just bring out a classic IPA and just, uh, just show everybody what they can do with, with hop forward beers as well. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're looking to try some of those, um, uh, one of those uh, big kind of uh, smoky dark beers that Luke just mentioned, uh, Eight Wide have just brought out a uh, whiskey smoke uh, Baltic Porter, which mm. um, is on the way to us. Um, we're going to be uh, stocking it at the Fridge and Flagon as soon as it arrives. We're really excited to try that. But the really cool thing about that beer is... <laughs> using their own whiskey, right? Is they're using the barrels from their own whiskey. Yeah. So um, it's been a long-term project for Soren um, to release his own whiskey. And it's just come out in the last couple of weeks. Mm. Um, and it's uh, been uh, aged in three different sets of barrels. Um, using um, a big dark beer malt base, so you apparently mm. uh, I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but it's got all those kind of dark malt characteristics coming through, a little bit of smoke, um, uh, it, as opposed to peat, kind of coming that, some of that roasted character mm. coming through in it. Um, so really excited to have a chance to try that uh, next time I'm up in Madacana. Um, but at $200 a bottle, unfortunately, I don't have the budget for it uh, at the moment. <laughs> maybe for a nip. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but really awesome to see their first ever whiskey coming out. Uh, so really uh, interested to see what else is going to be happening with their uh, their little distillery up there. Yeah, yeah, really cool. And um, I mentioned before the Beer of the Week subscription, uh, so perhaps uh, you've been given this advent calendar as a gift and maybe you've never heard of Beer Joke before, but we've been doing this for more than eight years and it all started out with a Beer of the Week subscription, which we're still doing, it's still going strong, and that's basically this. But it's all year round, and it's uh, well, once a week, not once a day. Yes, yeah, not once a day. That would be uh, that'd be that'd be so cool, though. Imagine if we did that. Right. 365. All right, 2023. You had it. Here first. <laughs> we'll put that on the whiteboard for later. But the, the beer of the week subscription is this, and it's every Thursday night. So you sign up for the beer of the week subscription, and you get a box of six different beers, but you're not allowed to drink the beers. You're allowed to drink the beers once a week, ideally on a Thursday. But we're not the boss of your house. And once a week, we send you an email telling you the whole story of the beer, food pairings, we do a music match, history of the brewery. We make a video just like this, and you get to discover beers from really interesting breweries and small batches, ones that you cannot find in other shops. Uh, so yeah, it's the advent calendar experience, but all year round, and it costs the same. It costs about $8.30 per beer, and that includes shipping and everything else. So hit the Beer Joke website and get yourself a subscription if you're uh, looking for more of this experience. And if you're terrified of commitment but still want more delicious beers, uh, just like this one, we also do regular mixed cases. And uh, one for fans of this beer that um, will be coming out next week um, is the West Coast Classics box. Um, we have put together a box of 12 iconic New Zealand West Coast IPAs. Um, so uh, for, if, for those of you who are familiar, uh, the likes of Armageddon, Hop Zombie, Citra, Knife Party, Hop Wired, it's got Pernicious Weed, Garrett Gista, Sawmill IPA, uh, uh, Great Migration from McLeod's, Tropical Cyclone. Um, it's a stunning Good memory. Box. Yeah, uh, Parrot Dog Bitter Bitch. I think there's one more in there that I haven't uh, got done off the top of my head. But and all super fresh, which yeah. is really important when you're drinking beers like this. And uh, 
Yeah, we sometimes uh, like to remind people of the difference with buying from Beer Jerk is that we turn our stock really quickly and everything is stored here in our massive fridge in our warehouse. Uh, so when you're buying an IPA from Beer Jerk, you know it's going to be in the best condition. It's the most recent batch. It's been stored cold. It's going straight to you and it's uh, going to be tasting fantastic. Yeah, so that West Coast Classics IPA, uh, IPA box is uh, coming out next week. And if you want more from 8Wide, we've also got their brand new pale ale in our summer drop, mm. which is a tasty selection of uh, easy drinking summer beers and one big imperial stout because we're beer jack. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, check those out on uh, the beer jack website and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, great work 8Wide. Continue cranking out the bangers. Thank you for joining us, uh, fellow drinkers. Cheers to you, Matt. Cheers.